Hi, in this video I'm going to show you the what we at Flowsum call the impact analysis functionality. So this is where we do a, a, a conflict detection and resolution between our deployments and our target orgs in Flowsum. So I would have a branch that I want to deploy and I want to see how this is going to affect my QA org. So I would click on the impact analysis button select the org I want to deploy this to, so I want to test, which is QA in this case. Then if I want to, I can look at just specific components, but I want to see everything to make sure I find all the differences between my deployment and this QA org. So I click on Impact Analysis. It will go through, very quickly compare the objects, and it will come back and show me what it finds for differences. So for my deployment, to the QA org, I have four conflicts that need to be resolved, and I have three new components that are being deployed. So I would go into this particular um, difference, for example, in this layout. So this works with declarative changes as well as uh, Apex, Lightning, Aura, things like that. So you can see, first of all, I have a difference in the behavior. So we show you what the differences are. There are three. If this is a large document, you can navigate through those changes very easily using these buttons. And we show you what the different colors are. So yellow is a conflicted uh, line. It's edit in my QA org, required in my deployment. So if this was done by a hotfix or done manually in the org and this needs to be kept, I don't want to overwrite it with this required. Uh, leaving this as is will overwrite that. I click on this arrow and this will store it in the deployment metadata in Flowsum, and now it will be deployed as edit, so we're not going to overwrite and lose that change. Green things we don't need to worry about, that'll be done with the deployment. But red things are actually things that are in that target org that are missing from my deployment. Again, a hotfix may have added this, somebody may have done this manually. If I leave this as is, it will be overwritten and removed. So I want to again click on this arrow, bring it back down to my deployment metadata, and now this is are going to be deployed. So all of my code in my deployment and all the changes that were made in my QA org by hotfixes or manual are now all in one so nothing will be overwritten and nothing will be lost. I will click on save. This will show up as merged. I will go through and look at all of the other different objects in here. Um, one of the power of using our tool for this is how we handle bundle objects. Typically you would have to download the bundle, extract the different components, open them up in an IDE, and do a side by you know do your comparison that way. We make it very easy by to do the bundled objects. We actually deconstruct it for you in our interface, so you can see we'll show you the different components in here, and then you can look at the actual component. So in this case, you can see the differences, and you can handle those right within this interface. So if I know that I want to keep what is in my QA org, I can do that. But in this case, you can see this is at the um, you know the, the function level. So if I want to go in and just modify a specific line, you can do that by manual edit. You can edit any of these changes in here on the fly if you want to allow that. So I can just go in and I can say I want to copy this over to here. And then once I do that, I save it and it will be just like I merged this line rather than having to merge the whole function. So again, making it very granular on how I can see and resolve these particular differences. I would click on save here. I will put me back out. This would show is merged. I will go through and look at the other objects, which are the same way. And then I would be able to deploy this successfully once everything has been merged. So ensuring that no code is overwritten, um, no components or code is lost. Thank you.